今天我们要来一起玩一个游戏，叫做《史丹利的预言》终极豪华版。它是之前《史丹利的预言》的一次重置版，算是一个呃原游戏 （meta 游戏）。就是它的特色就是，你对它了解的越少，你的体验就会越好、越完整。哦，这个游戏是没有中文的，所以这次视频我会加上一个半机翻的字幕，方便大家观看。好，开始游戏。This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee four two seven did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order. Had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk. And stepped out of his office. 到我了哦，他的工作每一天就是坐在这个小桌子前，然后听着有人给他下的指示，让他按什么按钮，他就按什么按钮。Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 他算是在指指引我吗 ？Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. 他好像在说我正在做的事情哎。我要去 meeting room. 哎，有两个门呢。When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 旁白叫我走左边这个门，要不先听他的吧。这都是一个职员一个一个一间办公室。哦，这就这个是到了对吧 ？Yet there was not a single person here either. 这是会议室。Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. 旁白叫我去老板的办公室，每个人都很特别。<笑>嗯，走。哦，哦，这门能开啊！哇，一个杂物间。Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. 他让我上楼。所以楼下能走吗？那我先上楼吧。我现在其实还是不明白他要到底要让我干什么。哦，好华丽啊 ！Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unravelled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What he could not have known. Was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet, incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This is in telling me? This is actually a part of my everyday work. Do you think I'm crazy? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. 
Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility. Oh, 左边还写了一个 escape. 这是真的可以逃跑吗？<笑>搞不好是假的。我先过去看看到底发生了什么吧。哇，精神控制。有一个按钮。The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? This, this, all, control, right? Huh? So many screens. Wow! Another button, right? 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 Is control. Now the monitors jumped to life. Fire! The fire! Their true nature revealed. 104 Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 我是多少号来着？四百二十七号。哎，我的状态还是正常的耶。那如果被开除的话，是不是就可以回家了？电梯。This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh, this light light is a bit creepy. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? He 一边在指引着 Stanley 做事情，一边又说出了 Stanley 做了的事情。Proof, the heart of the operation, controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad. Or content, walking, eating, working—all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, 到了，到了。And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. 太邪恶了，这个地方还要看着我上班，有监控。老板都跑路了，其他员工都走了，怎么只有我还在啊？然后呢？ Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes, he had won. Ah! He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives. It will be his, and that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Ah, 这样真的就走出去了，这么快。Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way. Right now, that things were meant to happen, and Stanley was happy. You, you happy, la? I'm back. 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 He entered the door on his left. 我其实有一件事情很在意。刚刚我进那个 mind control facilities 之前，有一个逃跑的选项。我们先去逃跑的地方看看吧
，赶紧走过去啊！好像旁白内容有一点点变化哎。也刚刚就是这样。我跟着旁白的指示，我刚刚就出去了嘛。好。这是我的计划，我计划这一边要逃走的。哎，但是刚刚就是一个那个自由结局啊，那这个逃跑又是干嘛的 ？This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. 哎 ，Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. 反正这已经有一遍出去了。At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. 什么跳下去就死了？啊，真的 ？As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life would be of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. 太哲学了吧，说的。Eyeballs from a blind man. Farewell, Stanley. 好，快走，快走，快走，快走，快走，快走，快走。好。Farewell, Stanley. cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated. As the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. That 怎么旁白换成女生了？哎，有路哎。And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless. Making life the same. This is a theater. Oh, this is a office model. Freedom ending. This is what I just hit that side. Action button. Oh, this I don't know. This is a game show, right? Some parts of the dialogue are all projected into the game. Oh, look at these two in the corner. Oh, look at <laughs> oh, look at these two! How they wish to destroy one another! How they wish to control one another! How they both wish to be free! 好诡异啊，这个女女生旁白。Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. Oh, you can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Oh, 真的吗？真的吗？这么多 ？Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever. 那我就 quit 了。All of his co-workers were gone. 真的重置了。What could it mean? 一般游戏出去好像好像就会从那个存档点开始哦。He entered the door on his left. 当然从右边啦。前面有一个门是开着的，这条路上开着的门好多。哇 ！So he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. 我就不了吧，下去看看。But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um. Uh, 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 u
Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh. 哦、oh, ，我就提前走的，走到了那个 mind control facility。Now, how about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Ah? And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay, from the top. 哇，自说自话的旁白啊，又给我送回来了，还让我去。Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six doors. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere? Or... 我根本没有，怎么能怪我嘞 ？Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. <coughs> Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. This time, they opened so many doors. I don't know where they went. Let's go to the top one. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. But I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Hey! Quick, 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 quick! It's done. Oh, just okay, open it. It's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? He let me go back and see. Eh, you say this game has been restarted. The opinion theory has been restarted. But the opinion theory is the same as the one I remember from before. Then I go back. Aha! I knew we'd missed something. The story. Aha! I knew we'd missed something. The story. Here it comes. Oh, 旁白，你到底知不知道路怎么走？哦，房间变了。Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? What、well, do you know? What? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You, you win! <laughs> Congratulations! Ah, 可以啊，可以啊。I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Ah,、uh, 好，谢谢。嗯、uh.。Oh no, no, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. 赢就是赢啊。I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Ah, 遇事不决你就重开。这次多了一根黄线。All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. Follow the line. Ah, this is not right. This is the line. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, okay, 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 Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office in fact the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on. Ah, you're wrong, Lao Pangbei. You see, you're wrong. What? 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 谢谢 ，Adventure Music， 谢谢你。这不瞎指挥吗？绕什么绕啊？旁白，醒醒啊，醒醒啊，旁白。疯掉了，旁白彻底疯掉了。这么开心的，旁白大哥。Cut the music. 
Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Tigger. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Wait, but we're back at the office? No, no, no. no, Lime, no you do know no. we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? What? Oh, you oh, oh. no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Line, not accurate, right? Finally, we have to follow the path. Wow, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. But this road... Eh? Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. This analysis, ending, The confusion ending. confusion ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. Giant. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well... You consulted me. Why don't I get to decide? I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do... Warning! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your Thank enemy, you. really, I'm not. I'm asking for her. Huh? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Huh? Oh, 
Oh. Stanley. Oh. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Wow, Pomba was more cool. Sir, hey, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Ah, how embarrassing! Yeah, I'm a fake model, disguised as my wife, and become a ghost. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Shit! I'm stuck here. A fake house. How stupid! L, right? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Truly, my life has no meaning. My existence has no value. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Oh! 我如果按别的按键，没有任何反应，好吗？我想要让这个世界发生一点改变，方法就是听从指示，按下按键 F。But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful, and each day that he returned to work. Was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Shit. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. That two open doors, that is, I. 走出办公室以后遇到的第一个选择是史丹利的想象是吗？就他觉得他自己终于有了选择，他现在还是在这边按按钮啊。As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls, and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, and down another was a game with a baby, and he called it. The Stanley Parable. This is Stanley's parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. So he. 脑海里面一遍遍的重置这个游戏，一遍遍的再来一遍，然后他就可以有新的冒险故事了，是吧？我的 wife 哪里有 wife？ But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this, Stanley. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. He says, "Don't push the button." So, don't push the button. Okay, don't push. 不按啊！可是这是我和这个游戏唯一的互动方式啊，就是按我手上的各种按键。那不按怎么办呢？按呗。You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? 又变了。
I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Yes. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. So, in the end, he will inevitably die. This cycle continues on. He will inevitably die. 可是除了按按钮，好像也没有别的可以选了呀。Wait, Stanley thought to himself, "Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken." 我这开局不一样了。哇，这次不一样了耶，完全不一样了。开局两句话都没有说了，两扇门。When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 走左边了。我们要不往下走走看看？咦，又是可怕的红光。He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? I'm dreaming! <laughs> he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. He thought to himself, "I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons, please. It's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine." I am okay. 好好好惨啊！然后他睡睡了一觉，然后起来了，是吧？发现。Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Wow. And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. This is who? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Huh? She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and、oh. walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance. For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. And、then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and, by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. What's wrong? This girl, you're not the only one. Ah, 
好奇怪，居然能看到史丹利的尸体，确实低头连脚都看不到哎。咦？啊 ？New content？ 说了，这个终极豪华版是加了一些新内容的了，没想到就这么明显的就写在这里是吧？好，这个就是这这个游戏，相比那个旧版新增的内容，好，我们一起去看一看。Oh, new content? What does that mean? New content? 我觉得就是字面意思，你觉得呢，旁白？ Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh! As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. 好好好诡异啊 ！After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe <laughs> content. <gasps> okay, so this is actually a game, and this game is. 知道自己是一个游戏，所以所以里面有新增内容。我确实就是在玩这个游戏。Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. All right. 新内容来了。All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. 这个圈圈，跳，嗯。我真的在玩一个游戏哈！啊，不能跳了！谢谢。Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator, Stanley. I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's twenty hours of new content right there. <laughs> Hell, I could count to thirty trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good. Yes, I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You see, Stanley, this is what happens when greedy video game developers, with no respect for their fan base, <laughs> rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content. I'm afraid it could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game, and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about? No frills, no gimmicks, just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I got back. I got back. 可是，可是我的办公室开门出去已经长得不一样了，似乎只有工作。Psst, Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special. And tucked it away here, where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Style 确实不太一样啊。I call it the memory zone. 
It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh, 2013. Memories, sweet memories. You see, Stanley, memory. doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. This is a new release. Oh, it's not a game console. It's a game console. Oh, 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 it's a game console. 会有人唱吗 ？Another here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable, like this stunning triumph of games journalism. Ten out of ten from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote: "Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art." Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. GameSpot. Yeah. Choices. I've never been confronted with a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. Oh, this door. 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 Oh, this 谢谢，这里有很多那个 Steam 上面对这游戏的评价哈。哎呦，哎呦！ Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. 哦，这里还有一个评价哦，看不见，又是个差评。Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non, this is a private reply. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure, like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable. Isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Wow, this user review user's ID and photo is still there. Too bad. He will see it in the game. If he is playing, he can see it. There is another one. Oh, what does this one have to say? Just look at the ratings. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Oh, 伤心了吧，旁白。Well, well, yes, yes. I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Yes, a skip button we shall have. 不会吧？哇哦！ Wow, and here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, you, you with you. just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. Well, then sit around. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? I'll edit. I know it's shocking. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been twelve hours. <laughs> You've just been frozen there. Get back. Why? Oh Stanley, you're back. You're back. I feel like the comments are old. I have someone to talk to again. Let us anticipate. Let us welcome it. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. 
。对不起，我又要按了，又要按了。我感觉你又不行了，你又说起来了，一说起来的话就是长篇大论，实在是坚持不住，快快快给爷开门！哦，旁白不说话了。哦，钟都掉了！哇 ！But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart. Hey, I'm going to go out. The end is never the end. 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 Oh, oh, oh! The walls are shattered. Wow, the sun is shining. Oh, the walls are shattered. 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 然后这已经是那个啥了，人类都灭亡了，后启示录了，是不是？我都没死哎，好吓人！哎，按钮都快没了，哦，可以出去了，耶！这是什么东西啊？我不是在那个 Steam 的差评区吗？一望无际啊！沙漠，我是在天堂吗？哦，回来了。I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers. Stanley thought, how amusing they'll find it. <笑>不一样了。Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? 这一下，这开头是彻底不一样了。哟，不得了啊，新内容。整上这小灯牌了呀 ！Oh good, you noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further, which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever. The Stanley Parable Two. Two. 游戏里卖的时候没这么说。Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? This is what fans have truly been asking for. 是吗？哦，太好了，又有一个新的展览了。哇，好现代啊，这个办公室。可是，可是它不还是个办公室吗？ Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable Two is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. 谢谢，好，有一些新的那个 features。来吧，你把你新特色给我给爷展示一下。就没有人参观，你找你搞这么多个迂回的路线干什么？哇，展示应该挺漂亮。Go on, try out some of the new features. 哦，啊 ，collectibles， now it's a real video game。哇，好多尸体，不是尸体，好多人在抢。谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。啊，这游戏常见元素。谢谢，你还真的就直接给我了。哇，这个真的是太可爱了。A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Come on, give it a try. Oh, wow, Pang Bai, you're 真的是做游戏的天才哦。在游戏中听到我的名字。For the Stanley Parable Two, I asked myself, 
What do players really want? Hmm, and of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> 这是聪明的解决方案呢！哇，我可以在这里边尝试一下这个功能呢。Jim, sorry, I Jim, should clarify. Who is Jim? Right now, the button only says the name Jim, but of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see what a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. There's some fun in there. Oh, it hits even harder the second time. I just put a water bottle in there. I'm playing myself. I'm saying myself. It would still be worth the money. Is it the infinite hole? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Ah, give you a genius! Give you a genius! You can fall to the end of time if you want. A stunning big hole for video games as a medium. Then I'll try it. Let's see. What are my more ingenious concoctions if I do say so? Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Great! Now I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's exactly what you're doing right now. But if it's infinite, it's perfectly fine. It's not a dream. How you prep for this and back to what's really important about. Oh. Oh goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. This is not a dream. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough. To hit the bottom. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hill. Hey, he now talking to me is about you. Before he was just Stanley's story, and he used he, how 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 the problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, "Yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all." But not you. Oh no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of. Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you had enough. I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show. Gosh. How could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing, we're. Hey, this is more fast. Okay. Yes. This hole is starting to become extreme. Let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Good. Well, there it is. Oh. The shame of my lies come to haunt. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Hmm. Is the um teleport button not working? Hmm. You sure? Hmm. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. You bug me, your game. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. 
You get to be with the whole. I get to do literally anything else. Wait, wait, wait! 别走啊，别走啊 ！Take care, Stanley. 哎，别。I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of it. 哇，声音还越声音还越来越远了，哥，回来，旁白，回来。哇，旁白，旁白，不会吧？你真的要让我困在一个这么浅的洞里吗 ？Hello， 旁白，放我出去。哎呦，哎呦，这音乐，哎，哇，往下沉了，喂，嘿嘿，哇，这次是真的要无底洞了是吗？不，不对，这不是底吗？我跟着底一起往下沉，我跟着底一起掉进了无底洞。切换视角，哎，自己给自己仪式感。哎呦，我天！我谢谢你，我谢谢你，太有仪式感了。哇，节奏真好，节奏真好。什么呀？哇，地底下了，这是什什么化石？哦，到底好可爱啊！我谢谢你哦。我觉得我不是在玩游戏，我是好像在看一个什么特别傻的 YouTube 视频啊。Shit！ 你在干什么？这是什么？哎，大头版。Stanley, Stanley. Oh. Oh, good. You're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. 哦、oh, ，谢谢你放我出来了。Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. 我还有什么 new features 没有看？哦、oh, ，对，这边可以出去。Uh, no screenshot. Okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you. The Stanley Parable Two. Oh, 谢谢啊，就这么几个。Well, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of okay. Never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version two. Oh, don't. 不要 ！No, I'm kidding, Stanley. No, 不想再看见这个洞了。This isn't a real video game at all. It's a lot of gags. 天哪，这游戏一直在开玩笑。I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it, tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen—a title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, "This is the Stanley Parable 2." Let me see if I can whip something up. Wow, Hong Bai is still thinking how to change his original game. I think he will get worse and worse. Oh, really? The title screen has changed. So this is the Stanley Parable 2. So this is the Stanley Parable 2. So this is the Stanley Parable 2. 好的，<笑>变得十分的现代呢。史丹利的预言二，开始。This is the story of a man named Stan. 嗯，开头是一样的。He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. 这次我又回来了哦。白色气球。All this coat has gone. 
What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah! Oh! Oh, Stanley picked up the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest hey, and entered the hey. door on his left. Hey. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock from this very place. And as the cold reality Stanley of his past and began to sink his in, bucket. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power oh. over another and human and life. On, For he... But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. <laughs> Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? Because the bucket had betrayed him like this. Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Yeah? Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control button became active again. SB. I can choose two Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. <laughs> Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. This is silly Yuna 就还算是比较，算是有一些幽默的一个游戏。现在我已经就整个人精神非常的放松了，一开始还挺严肃的，没想到是这么一个傻傻的游戏，还挺可爱的。好，今天先到这里啦，拜拜。